Yo, what is good out there guys? It's Roll Easy and I'm here with a back-to-back -back money glitch video for you guys. Uh, before everybody gets all excited, um, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say it's a fast dupe, okay? It's crazy fast, no lie, it's 10 seconds per dupe once you have everything set up. Here is the downside. It's the streetcar dupe, all right? This is not an LG Retro or Benny's Vehicle dupe. It's not like that. You, uh, All you OG glitchers out there that have been doing this for years, you guys will remember the old streetcar dupe. We have not had it back in a while. But thanks to Apocalypt and to the Facile, uh, the French have revived the, the, uh, the streetcar dupe. So we do have it back. Um, yeah, and as you can guess, the street cars for you new guys, they sell for a lot less. You're not going to get a million bucks per car, not even close. But you still get good money, and this is fast and super easy to do, okay? So, yeah, shout out to the founders once again. And what you're going to need for this glitch is you want a full garage in your nightclub, okay? Very important. So you need at least one garage in your nightclub that's completely full. Also, PS4. You need only one friend and you're good to go, all right? So this is not solo in case you guys were thinking it was. Uh, Xbox One, you need one friend as well, but you also need a friend in a different targeting mode. So that means you and your friend hop into an invite-only free aim session and just make sure, you know, you got somebody else in assisted aim that you can join off of, all right? And you also need money to actually upgrade the, uh, the street car that we're going to be duping. And the biggest thing, custom plates. You 100% need custom plates to do this glitch and make sure your job markers are actually showing on the map, okay? All those blue job markers. So what I'm doing right here that you see in the gameplay, this is me just going into any random garage I got and I grabbed this car right here because it's a two-seater and I'm gonna go ahead and take it to start the glitch, okay? so. This beginning part, this can be any car, just not from the nightclub, and it needs to be a two-seater. So you and your friend get into, you know, an invite-only session and get ready. So this is what we're going to be doing. This is my nightclub right here, and I'm going to explain to you what's going to go on. It's super easy. Don't worry. There's, like, no timing or anything like that. Uh, barely any, really. Uh, and definitely not on your part. So you see, if I go to Garage 2, I have the full alert. While I'm on this full alert, my friend would be sitting in the car. They're going to take the easy way out and then they're gonna open up the PlayStation or Xbox store quickly. So it's what I'm doing right here. I'm just gonna show you what the friend is doing. Okay, so imagine I'm in the passenger seat as the friend. I'm gonna kill myself real quick, press pause and go to the PlayStation slash Xbox store and open it up and stay there. That's literally all your friend has to do now the entire time. So tell your friend at this point, go make a drink, you know, go grab some cereal, go walk your dog, go do whatever. But that's literally all your friend has to do and your friend just sits there the whole time. Okay, so that's just me showing you what the friend is doing. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and complete the glitch and actually, you know, do the glitch for you. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the driver's seat. My friend's going to hop into the passenger seat and I'm going to drive up to get that full alert. All right, so here we go. I'm going to drive up. Remember, you just need one garage here that's full at least. All right, so I'm going to go to B2 and I'm on this full alert. So no timing here, you know, nothing crazy. Just tell your friend I'm on the full alert. The friend is going to go ahead and take the easy way out and then quickly press pause and go to the PlayStation slash Xbox store. Okay, that's it. That's all my friend did right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and accept the full alert and then look what happens. Your friend should just pass out or die, you know, and fall out of the car. And uh, yeah, you will get hit with this infinite black loading screen. Okay, if you've done everything correctly, you should get hit with an infinite loading screen. And there you go. All right, at this point, this is where Xbox, you need your friend in a different targeting mode. So you have to find somebody in assisted aim, uh, join them, accept the first alert, decline the second, all right? And on PlayStation, it's a little bit easier. Find a recent activity that leads you to GTA Online and decline the alert. Now, you will have the uh, replace alert right here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel the replace alert and there we go, all right? You should end up in the nightclub. Now, once you're in the nightclub garage, if you want to check to make sure you really did it right, you won't be able to leave. You see that? I don't have the option to actually exit the uh, the garage. So this is where the job markers come in. Press pause, open up your map, and find these job markers. I'm going to find one probably a little bit close to uh, to LSC so that, you know, I can be decently close to there, all right? So I found one right here. I'm going to go ahead and press square. I think that would be X on Xbox, I'm pretty sure. I haven't played in a while, but yeah, yeah, it'd be uh, X on Xbox, uh, square on PlayStation to start up the uh, job marker. Now, once you've loaded into here, you're just going to simply back out. All right. That's all we're going to do. So we're going to back out and confirm the alert. And now we should spawn outside that all that was for is literally just to go outside because we're actually trapped in the, uh, you know, inside of the warehouse uh, garage. So now that we're back out and we're over here, I guess the place where you pick the job marker doesn't matter because I just spawned in front of the garage anyways. Uh, you guys can test that out a bit further. But yeah, right here, this is where and remember, your friend stays 
on that PlayStation slash Xbox store. That's it. Your friend stays there. And what your job is now, you need to go find a streetcar to do. You saw that? I think that's called the bullet. Do You know, you can't get high-end vehicles. For you newbies to this glitch, no high-end vehicles. You have to get, you know, vehicles like this, like the Buffalo. I was about to take this Buffalo, and then I realized, check this out. I looked, and I was like, oh, look at that. It's almost 10 o'clock. That's 2,200 hours. For those, you know, people that used to grind out and collect cars, this is the time where the Sentinel XS is spawning, okay? One of the rarest cars in the game, uh, you know, that spawns naturally. It pretty much spawns right over here in this area. Uh, it's right next to Eclipse, to Eclipse Towers. But uh, yeah, and it spawns between 10 and 4, okay? So that'd be 10 p.m. at night and 4 a.m. in the morning. Those are the times that it spawns. So if you want to wait to do this glitch at that time, you can definitely do that, all right? That's a, it's a really good car to get. I'll leave a list of all the cars and what they're, you know, what they actually, uh, what they can sell for. Okay, so this is the actual route that we're gonna take. And if you see me going slow here, all I'm doing is waiting for it to hit 10 o'clock because that is when they actually do start spawning. So boom, 2200 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and drive up here and close my phone. And you wanna just do exactly how I'm doing right here. Just slowly make a left turn. And if you don't see a green or blue Sentinel XS spawning right there, then you just gotta go ahead and make your round again. All right, and you're gonna see this is uncut footage right here. Right at 10 p.m., I went ahead, I tried once, it didn't work. I did just, you know, turned around, you know, did a little circle or square, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna come back and you'll see I'll actually get the Sentinel XS to spawn this time. So I already knew it was there, I could tell by the lights and check it out. That's the Lime Green Sentinel XS. The other one you can get is blue. Uh, it's like a blue purple. And I think that one's worth more actually. It's only like a thousand more or something uh, if you were to sell it like this. But uh, yeah, once you have the streetcar that you will be duping, you need to go ahead and go to LSC and actually upgrade it, all right? Because we want our dupes to sell for as much money as possible. So this is one of the best cars to dupe for sure, the Sentinel XS. You'll get good money for this. And you want to just max out the upgrades. I'm talking every single upgrade you can, max it out just like we do for the LG Retro Custom. Same thing, all right? Now, we're going to get over here. Make sure you put a tracker and make sure you put the insurance on it. Very important, so all your dupes got that. Go to the plates section and check this out. For some reason, I didn't have my custom plates with this car. I can't, this isn't a dupe or anything. I just stole it off the street, as you can tell. And I didn't have custom plates, but if you have your custom plates, I highly recommend doing it. I actually don't recommend doing this if you don't have custom plates. I'm just doing it for the video purposes. But you need custom plates. Put one on this car so that you do not get dupe detected, okay? Put a, uh, make sure you just put a custom plate on here. And you see that? After everything is said and done, it sells for 190, which is pretty good, all right? Especially back then. Back then when the streetcar dupe was brand new, that was really good. But uh, yeah, so once you have, you know, fully upgraded the car and make sure you put that custom plate on it, you want to go ahead and just exit LSC, all right? Just simply exit LSC and you're going to see how easy this dupe glitch is. This is where the 10 second part comes in hand or, you know, is what I told you about, all right? 10 second dupe. So you see that we, we saved or that was, you know, saving the street car that we just stole. Now I'm going to drive back in. <laughs> Check this out. Okay. This is so crazy. So I'm gonna go over to the loss and prevention and look at that, I can put another tracker on it. That means this is another dupe, okay? Simply exit LSC once again, and all you wanna do is turn right back around and drive back in, all right? That is all you need to do, and you can just keep duping and duping and duping. Look at this, put another tracker on there. Boom, I just made another dupe. I think I've made two already, uh, plus the original car. Now I'm about to make a third dupe, and boom, there we go, another tracker. So you see that? And you don't have to do all that turning and stuff like I was doing. You can literally just back up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do it here, yeah. You can just drive out and back up and that'll save you, what, two seconds, three seconds maybe, uh, turning around like that. So you can save even more time. But I'm telling you, this is a 10 second dupe, man, through and through. It's crazy how easy and fast this glitch is. But uh, yeah, and don't worry if you have, you know, no empty spots. The reason why my trackers were just going on, you know, perfectly is because I didn't, I had a few empty spots. Uh, apparently I have a dead spot also because this one says it's full, but uh, yeah I'm just gonna replace uh, one of these LG retros that I got in that garage and boom So that's what most of you will probably have to do. You're probably having to be you know replacing uh, other cars Unless you have empty spots, but that's pretty much it guys 10 second dupe as you can see right there And I'm gonna show you the garage right now Where I actually have all of these dupes because when you put a tracker on it just goes to a garage You know if you have empty spots it goes straight to those spots all right, it'll fill those up, and then once everything's filled, it'll ask you. But uh, yeah, as you can see right here, I am in my garage, and all my dupes are you know nice and safe. I only made a few, but as you can see, how fast I made those. It took no time at all, all right? And I'm gonna show you right now why you need custom plates. So you see all these plates right here? 
they are generic plates exactly alike. If I were to sell even one of these, I could be dupe detected. It's very possible, all right? If I were to sell all of them, I'm pretty sure I'll be dupe detected 100%, all right? These are what, I, this is what I was talking about, dirty plates. These are all dirty cars. I will not be keeping these. That was just for the video. I'm gonna be overriding them and I'll get rid of them completely. So trust me, you need custom plates. And I'll show you that I haven't just lost my plates, all right? I took this from that garage and look, I have my custom plate options right here. So it was just those cars, all right? And for some reason, the Sentinel XS wouldn't let me put a plate on it, but I have plate options for other cars. Okay, so I still got my plates. You know, I didn't get dupe detected, nothing like that. And I most certainly will not sell those cars. So make sure when you're doing this glitch on that first car that you, on that first street car that you steal, that you steal, <laughs> sorry, you need to put a custom plate on that. Fully upgrade it, insurance, tracker, and custom plate, all right? But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. As you can see, one of the fastest dupe glitches ever. Yeah, you don't get a shitload of money, but a 10 second dupe, come on. That's crazy compared to the other dupes, especially the solo dupe we got right now. This is super fast. All right, but uh, yeah, so my name's Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.